Hi, welcome to Anjurisa channel. Where is my microphone? I forgot about my microphone. I forgot about this. Okay. Hi, welcome to Anjurisa channel. I'm Trisa and you can call me Risa. And today I will show you a great way to make these white scrunchies. Stay tuned. The first thing is to prepare your fabric. The size is about 50 centimeters by 15 centimeters. I will write the size in inches and centimeters below here. And with the design like this, I don't recommend you to, do, to use these scrunchies as a hair tie because with the beautiful pattern, once you tie it to your hair, you can barely see the pattern. So I suggest you to use these scrunchies as a bracelet. It's more beautiful like this so I will fold the fabric in half and sew all along the fabric I am using the seam allowance about one centimeter here so I'm using this line as my guide after we sew it like this I want to press the seam open just open the seam like here and we are going to press it next with the seam right in the middle here I'm going to turn the fabric but don't turn it all the fabric all right side out I just turn it right in the halfway Let's see Let's see this Let's take this to I'm going to place I'm going to place the seam together here And we are going to sew all along the fabric but we will leave an opening about about where's my ruler where's my ruler i will leave an opening about two centimeters right in the center here let me show you later this part is a little tricky so i will take this off to make it easy for me to sew this part because it's really small I will start sewing from here and take the lift up the presser foot and continue sewing so we can have a nice straight line. So a little and then take it again. As you can see, we sew all along the fabric and leave an opening about, what is it? Let's see, my opening is about one inches. It's about one inches opening. Next is to turn the fabric right side out with this opening. Just take the fabric out. it you can have a perfect turned fabric next I will take my pillow I will press the fabric but I want to place the seam here right in the center so I will press the fabric it next I will prepare an elastic band I want to use this as a bracelet so I'm using my hand as the guide just wrap around the hand and you can add about half inches because we want to sew the elastic band together 
Now we are going to insert the elastic band right in the center here. So I will sew all along the fabric, all along the fabric with the seam allowance about two and a half centimeters, two and a half centimeters on the left side and two and a half centimeters on the right side. So we are going to sew this part. I am using this sewing guide because I want to use the seam allowance about two and a half centimeters and I only have two here so I will use this as the guide about two and a half centimeters it's about like here so I will sew the fabric here using this as the guide As you can see, the seam allowance is about two and a half centimeters in the left side and two and a half centimeters on the right side. You can check out this in the description below. This really helps. Next is to insert the elastic band through the opening right here. So I will use an elastic threader. If you don't have this threader, you can use a safety pin. You can also use a safety pin. Just use this threader. And I will insert the elastic band inside. And make sure that you clip it, you pin it right here so it won't go inside. You can continue insert the elastic band. And next is to overlap the elastic band together. And we are going to sew the elastic band together. As you can see, I sew the elastic band, zigzag stitch or back and forth. And the last step is to hide the elastic band inside. You just pull it and you can hide it perfectly inside. Just push it. Okay, that's it. Our beautiful scrunchies is finished. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. If you don't, just hit the dislike button and comment below about what you don't like. See you in my next video. Bye!